Hello and welcome to a new session. This is ICT Class 2 Week 1. And as you know, whenever we resume a new session, we like to go over some of the things we learned in the previous one. Today we're going to try to recall parts of the computer, uses of the keyboard, and uses of the mouse. Now what are the parts of a computer? A computer usually has a monitor, that's the part that looks like a TV screen. A computer has a mouse and a computer has a keyboard. A computer also has a system unit, that's the part that looks like it's standing upright. What are the uses of a keyboard? The keyboard is used for typing. The keyboard is used for typing. This is a keyboard. Now you can see the keys here. The keyboard has the letter keys, it has the number keys, it has the symbol keys. Those are the keys with the commas, the full stops, the question marks, the colons and semicolons and brackets. And then the keyboard also has the function keys. They are usually up here up here so let's go over that again the keyboard has letter keys which are usually here the keyboard has number keys which are usually here the keyboard has sim symbol keys which are usually around here and they're the ones you use for commas question marks brackets and all the other punctuation marks and the key keyboard also has function keys which are usually up here now, what are the uses of a mouse? A mouse is used for clicking, for dragging, for selecting. For clicking, for dragging, for selecting. Now, that is what a mouse looks like. Now, if you look closely, you will see that the mouse has three buttons, okay? The mouse has three buttons. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Now let's see if you can answer some of these questions. List three parts of the computer you know. How many buttons has the mouse? Which of the parts of computer looks like a television? Now these are the things we will be doing for next week. We'll be looking at handling texts and how to load Microsoft Word. We'll also see how to type texts and then how to edit a text. That is the end of the lesson. Have a nice day.